I tell the scouting department what I see. The scouting department evaluates my recommendations along with the physical talent that they see in the player. And if they feel like, number one, there's no one else on the board that has equal talent, and this player is too talented to pass up, then they draft him. And what I've always told people is, look, if you think it's a red flag and you're concerned about this person, but you think they have enough talent to succeed, take him, and then we know exactly how to handle that person, how to make them successful. So, so that's our approach, is, is rather than saying, take this person, don't take this person. It's, this is what I know about this person, these are my concerns, and you have to evaluate that based on, on where you think the player falls on the board. Okay, so in this case, I was specifically asked, which of these three do you like the most? Um, and I had a very a clear answer um, for me. Now, again, I'm keeping these profiles anonymous. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what team I was with when I did these. I'm not gonna tell you um, who these people are, and I'm not gonna tell you um, most of the details of what happened to them. Um, but this is what a profile looks like. There are 20 different factors. The gray shaded area is the average score for a first round draft pick on data that we've collected. And then the hash mark is the score of the player that has completed the assessment. So here's a green flag, here's a yellow flag. This isn't gonna mean much to you right now. Um, but I wanted to let you take it in and then I'll explain the process behind it and then show you what I saw. Um, so these three picks, I saw very clearly. We have a green flag here who I think has a high chance of, of reaching his potential. We have a yellow flag who I have some concerns with. And now I know what you're thinking now is that only looks like two profiles. It is. Um, I didn't have room for three on one slide and I didn't want to make them too small. So here's your third. Um, there aren't a lot of differences scale to scale. Uh, and so it's the combination of scores and it's the pattern of scores that we're looking for. Um, and, and really, well, let me back up. So really what we're trying to do is get a sense for how does this person concentrate? Where does this person feel pressure? And we combine those two things to get a sense for what's gonna to happen to this person's focus, decision making, emotional control, communication with others, sense of self when they feel pressure. So how'd they turn out? The green flag made it to the big leagues, became a rookie of the year, won an MVP award, has played in two all-star games and has been on two World Series champions. The player that was not flagged has made it to the big leagues, um, has had some ups and downs, has made it to an all-star game, has also been optioned to the minors. That's the term that we use when someone kind of gets relegated um, personally, when they go from the big leagues back down to the minors. Um, the yellow flag has still not made it to the big leagues. I believe he's still playing, but he's not made it to the big leagues yet. 